This should be a fun one simply for the fact that we have a couple of, well, some might say, future all-stars afoot, won't we? Yeah, most definitely, and even just players aside, I think you look at these two teams, and obviously coming into this tournament, you knew about some of the favorites like the Ferlundas and the H-Reds and the Havus, but these are two teams that have had success in the past and want to put themselves in that conversation to be contenders for the championship at the end, and both of them have gotten really good starts starting 2-0 and when matching up against each other. I think they see this as an opportunity to maybe cement the themselves into potential contendership, Nick. The Lemons, Lemons. They crisscross applesauce and back out to Ekin, gives it out to the right D, he'll flip it in. Shallow angle up against the boards and trying to recover it is Julius there on the right-hand side. Wrist shot in and scores! Off the broken play from the corner, we have our first goal of week number three's featured matchup. Now they keep it going here, Nick. They just had two good opportunities right there. Good saves, however from Benna to keep it alive, oh, and another one, Nick. Broken play there, and that one skirts through the legs of Supreeks. I don't know what happened as we were gonna call out the amazing opportunities up in the top of your screen. Coming back the other way, Angel Kuru gets credited with the goal as that bounced off of the half boards and into the net, so we have a tie game here. Centering cast looking for the right, left side there, right side, backhand chance off the rebound, and he scores. Lehman with the goal here, and now we're back to a one goal lead for Granite. Games. The one thing Granite really did struggle with in the first two weeks was taking penalties. They took 10 of them coming into this game. Obviously, they were able to kill off of them off, but YMCA, if you give them enough chances, they will capitalize, and they are heating up in a day score there, Nick. A huge goal here to tie this game up off the set play from the face off that left winger makes this game two to two. A laser beating Thunborg. Rimpe there, right time, right place. As they couldn't get on the same page for that pass and that comes all the way down the edge of the ice. Now we're slapping it down the other way. Icing warning, shot in, he scores! Sakello takes it the other way on the Omaha back for YMCA and they come out of the woodwork here to take this game in overtime and fight back to win it three to two. Fast moving first period so second period so far Foppa with a chance and that's a good defensive effort by Julius he just pushed him aside kept the puck to Benna's left and that one did not make its way on net looking for a shot here in the second period is Granite as they're starting to build up a little bit of momentum that one tipped up in front and scores! Antonio with the tip goal and a beauty off the iron. Play will continue, 5.20 to go here in the second period. Foppa stopping in the neutral ice area. Antonio right side looking for a lane, found it! And he scores! That's a great goal from a great pass, it's two nothing. How about that? You mentioned the passing. Granite's forwards, they've been one of the better passing trios in the league so far. Four of their players entered this game in the top 10 in the entire tournament in assists, and they're displaying the quick, beautiful passing and the chemistry on a play like that. Really the first time in the minute we've seen one of those cross-crease plays from Granite since the first period of game one. How plays pushed along, still in the zone. YMCA on the attack. Left point Julius center point Rimpe right side JM shot in front rebound chance good save there by Thunborg as he came across the ice to make another save still in the zone though YMCA going to work here Stockello now Julius back on the give and go down low behind the net here one minute left in the second period shot there saved by Thunborg yet again Rimpe last ditch effort just can't get it going so that's gonna do it so yeah Thunborg stands on his head and might be considered the star of this game as Granite forces a game three and takes game number two, two to nothing. You know what I'm gonna say here as play moves along. The boards here picked up by JM. Left corner, left point, center point, give and go shot in. Traffic in front and he scores! Angel Kuru breaks open the scoring early on in the first period and it's one nothing for YMCA. 
That one's slow to get to Antonio. He'll get it anyway. Fapa taking a huge hit. Lost that puck on the steal. Angel's got it now. Stop and go. Shot in and scores! It's 2 to nothing. YMCA. You almost got to look for that LT stop and go when you hit that circle. As the crashing trailer will always be there on the cross crease. And if you can feed him, you'll get there. And while that goal didn't happen in the last minute, it's pretty close to it. As it's 2-0 YMCA now. All gas, no breaks for them. Wraparound chance off the back of the pad. But Thunborg makes that save. Last ditch effort. Here we go. Shot and scores! Lehman, the right defender with .8 seconds, brings this back to a one-goal deficit for his club in Granite. Right now, under 20 here. Still kept in. Beautiful. Lehman's down low. Pushed off the puck, fighting for it behind the net. Rimpe going to flip it along. He's going to carry him off the board and back down the ice to the left circle in the defensive end for Granite. But YMCA hungry like sharks to slow things down. Empty net here. Four seconds. Ekin through the middle, looking for a lane. Backhand chance that was off the rebound and saved. And that's going to do it. So a crazy amount of plays happening at the end of the game. Going back the other way, YMCA takes the penalty. Ekin drives the net. Kick saved by Benna. And it doesn't go in. Your winners of the series and of this game, YMCA Esports.